Hi friends, this is Wendy with Love and Stampin'. I am so happy that you're here with me today. So today we're gonna make a really fun card and I have an extra sample to show you, but first I wanna just show you this cute card. I made this card uh, in a video and this is August thank you card. So if you place an order with me for Stampin' Up in the month of August, I will send you one of these cards for free and this sweet little ladybug charm. I don't know if you can, hopefully my camera is going to focus here. Uh, it might not. Focus. <laughs> anyway, so there's a cute little ladybug charm here and then you get this little card with an envelope in addition. And then I have my August creative inspiration calendar here. Today we are making a triple flap fun fold card. I'm gonna show you how to make that. Now this is not the actual color of the calendar. My printer ran out of red ink. <laughs> so it printed everything in greens and blues. So these are color inspirations for you to use every week to make cards with. And then there's just ideas on here of things to make cards to make and you get this free from me when you sign up for my email so there's a link below the video that says get my emails I send this out every single month so um yeah get on my email list to get this for free oh I also want to mention if you place an order with me you want to do it at shoploveandstampin.com that's spelled with a u l u v i n and um, you do not have to use a host code, okay? So there's no host code required. Unless I'm running a special and I specifically tell you to use the host code, you don't have to use a host code when you shop with me. I'm tired of the host code. I don't really care for the host code. <laughs> so I'm just making it so that if you order for me, you get a beautiful handmade thank you card for me along with a charm of the month. I do a different one every month and you can use them for things like your scissors you can use them for your tweezers you could use them on a jacket pull to like the zipper you can use them on suitcases bags um anything that has a little hole that you want to attach a charm to so i love them and i think they're super fun i've got them all over all kinds of things all right so let's make this card we're going to use the inked and tiled uh stamp set and we're making, we're using the Ovals collection. Now this is old. This is not a current Stampin' Up! product. I have kept this for years because I refuse to get rid of it. I have the squares, the ovals, the circles, and the hearts. And I thought, you know what, why not pull this out of my stash and use it? So before anybody gets upset that they can't get the ovals anymore, let me just tell you, if you go to different craft companies, there's ovals available. So if you need oval dies, you can find them somewhere. Um, Stampin' Up! doesn't currently sell any, but you know, I have what I have and I'm gonna use it today. All right, so that's what we're using. And then we're using this gorgeous inked botanical designer series paper. Now. I want to preface this with saying this was not my favorite designer series paper in the catalog at first, but actually it's kind of beautiful. So there's lots of really beautiful p patterns in here that are perfect for fall, summer, where summer meets fall. Let's say that. Um, and I just think they're beautiful. So it's one of those things until you get your hands on paper, sometimes you don't know if you're going to like it. And it turns out I like a lot of these patterns and they're going to work great for Halloween cards, fall cards, into summer cards. So we're going to make a birthday card and we're also going to decorate an envelope. And I'm going to tell you all about why we're making this and who we're making it for in just a second here. So let me tell you the pieces you need. You need a piece of this for this particular thing, but you can substitute anything out you want. I'm using, oh, let me show you my colors first. I'm using Petal Pink, Calypso Coral, and Lost Lagoon. I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've used Lost Lagoon since it came back. Shame on me. 
We've got an envelope here. This is a craft envelope that's not from Stampin' Up. I get these on Amazon. I love these. You can purchase them uh, from Amazon. I'll link to them below this video and over on my blog. And this is the envelope it's gonna go in. This is a five by seven envelope. This card will only be four and a quarter by five and a half, but I just think the envelope goes nicely with the look. So that's why I'm using it. Okay, so this is very vanilla cardstock and it is cut at five and a quarter by 11. We've got a piece of Lost Lagoon cut at four and a quarter by five and a half. We've got a piece of the designer series paper that is cut at three and a half by five and a quarter. <laughs> I had to think about it. We've got three pieces of Lost Lagoon that are three and three quarters by one gotta look at my notes I gotta cheat by one and a half <coughs> excuse me and then I've got those ovals so to get started we're gonna have to do just a little bit of cutting we need to cut our designer series paper piece into three pieces so we're gonna cut it at one and a half one and a half and one and a half okay so you need three pieces of DSP cut like that. Then we're gonna grab our five and a quarter by 11 piece. And I have the Stampin' Up! trimmer that has the arm that pulls out so you can score and cut longer. This goes all the way to 17 inches. And there's two blades. There's a scoring blade that's light gray and a cutting blade on the same track, which I love. So I just move my cutting blade down and out of the way so that I don't accidentally cut. Um, I've done that a time or two. Okay, so for this piece of cardstock, we're going to score at one and three quarters, three and a half, seven and a half, and nine and a quarter. Now, we're going to fold in on our score lines and then back. So on that closest score line to the center, we're folding in and then we're folding back. And then I'm gonna take my bone folder and I'm gonna burnish the edges so that we have a nice, crisp, clean fold. And we'll do that on both sides. And by the way, in case I didn't already say it, uh, and I know I didn't, this is a YouTube premiere video. So I'm chatting along live with you, but this video is not actually live, it's pre-recorded. So I just wanna make sure that everyone's clear on that. All right, before we commit this to paper, I'm gonna open this up flat again, and I'm going to take my Lost Lagoon ink, and I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping on the inside of this card. Just to give it a little extra pizzazz. And then let me grab my microfiber cloth here. I just have, these are handy. Just wipe away that ink. And now we've got our little stamping on the inside. I love Lost Lagoon. I can't believe it's been so long since I used it. I'm not sure what's wrong with me. Okay, and then we are going to take adhesive. I'm just gonna use my ATG gun because it's nice and big and easy. It's not great for camera because it takes up a lot of room, but it's what I have sitting closest to me. And then I'm just gonna keep these closed and line this up so it's nice and centered on this Lost Lagoon cardstock. Okay, so there we go. And then we're going to adhere all our other pieces. So we're gonna start with the bottom piece. Now we want two pieces to be adhered on this side and one on this side. So we want the top and the bottom adhered on this side. So what we're gonna do is start with the bottom piece. We're gonna line it up with the bottom 
of the very vanilla and then you can pinch like this open this up and take a pencil or a pen and make a mark and now you will know that you can put adhesive in this area here and it's not going to glue it to the rest of the card so that's really important you don't want to put adhesive too far over or you're going to end up gluing this down to this and your card won't open so we're just going to line this back up in the center and all the way down to the bottom and now you've got one on one side okay and then we're just going to work our way up now because i've made a couple of these i kind of know where my adhesive needs to go so i don't have to mark every one but i would recommend you marking them all if you're not sure so now we're going to take this piece and we're going to butt it up to the bottom piece so that they're touching and glue it down but this one is adhered on that side okay and then for the last one we're going to add adhesive butt it up make sure it's all lined up neat nice and neat and glue it down and there we have it all three pieces and they close down like this and they open like this so the rest is really just decorating so we're going to take all three of our designer series paper pieces and glue them on and then we're going to decorate the ovals and add them so who is this card for well i got a text message from my best friend laura and she said can you make a card for um well actually she what she really said was do you have a floral card in your stash for a birthday that i could give to my husband's mom and um i said i am certain i do or i could make her a special one like she's turning 80 so i said i could make her a special one that has like her you know like the big eight zero on it and all that and she said no that's okay just do you know just give me one you already made but then i got to thinking about it i thought you know what i wanted to kind of maybe do a fun floral card that would suit her and that she would really love so that's what i came up with this and um so yeah so that's what i'm doing okay so here we're gonna do a little bit more stamping i'm gonna take my calypso coral and i'm gonna grab my misty scratch paper if you need some of this paper it's a nice thick pad it's small it's handy i keep it at my stamp station pretty much all of the time so if you need one of these you can get it at my sweet petunia and i will link to them below the video i am an affiliate with my sweet petunia um just so you know but it doesn't cost you anything extra to purchase with them so i'm going to ink up on Calypso Coral, stamp it off once, and then stamp it here. And then I'm gonna come in with my petal pink. Wipe off my stamp, ink up in petal pink, and stamp again. Ooh, that's a little too dark for me. I should have stamped it off. Hmm. Okay, let's flip it over and try again. That's the beauty of having two sides of cardstock. Am I right? So we're going to stamp. That's better. I don't want it really, really dark. And then we'll go into the Calypso. We'll stamp it off. Stamp it again. And then... We're gonna use the little leaf, stamp it off. Might stamp this one off twice. Stamp it again, just around the edge there. And then I've got the Lost Lagoon and Happy Birthday. Now with sentiment stamps, I always test stamp because if you don't get your sticker lined up just right or you're not 100% sure on your alignment, it's always good to do a test stamp. So I just am doing a quick 
couple of test stamps so I can get the feel and make sure I line this up nice and straight so I don't give a card that's got a crooked sentiment. All right, and then we're gonna bring in the envelope and I am going to, you know what, we're gonna go ahead and ink up the Calypso Coral. Add this to the envelope in a couple places. And then we'll ink up the Lost Lagoon and do the same thing. And now our envelope is finished. I think it looks really cute, just simple. And then add some adhesive to the back of here. Add this to our Lost Lagoon. Okay, and then we're gonna add it just to the center. So in order to do that, because we don't want to glue it to all three of these or it won't open. So in order to do that, we're going to pull this away and I'm going to do the same trick I did a little bit ago where I flip it over and I'm just going to keep it all pinched. I'm going to draw a couple of lines so that I know where not to put glue and I need to put glue everywhere else. So we're just going to go through the center here. Okay. And then line it up. Now this one's a little more precarious. So I'm not going to smush it down. I want to double check. Man, I couldn't have done that more perfect if I tried. I've lined that up perfect. Wow. I guess that's what happens when you've been doing this a while. Okay, so then it slides together and hooks together like that. And it slides apart like that. So I think this is super cute and fun. Now, I'm going to add some embellishments because, come on, how can you not? So let's see what do I have here that I think would look lovely these might work might use these um, I really want to use the right colors you know what these I think would actually look the prettiest so let's see we'll get these out and we're going to use these here. Oh my gosh, my little dog just came in. If you can hear him panting. It's 102 here today while I'm recording this. So the dogs are toasty warm and I am too. I think I might have to go get in the swimming pool. Okay, so there's our finished card. Birthday, they can write their message inside and here is the envelope that it will go in and then I will give her a choice. If she doesn't want to use this card, she doesn't have to, but I think it's really beautiful. And then this is another one that I made. Um, so this one doesn't have any layer on the top. Uh, I took the designer series paper that's brand new that's coming out uh, in September and I just cut it very carefully so that it would like line up and make sense and then it just opens like this and so it's just kind of fun and nothing super crazy but there's a whole scene on the front without adding any extra layers so I encourage you to take your designer series paper that kind of has a scene and if you cut it correctly, you can kind of just build a scene on the front of this card that like, isn't that cool? Super fun. So those are the two cards I have to share with you today and I hope that you enjoyed our time together. If you 
place a Stampin' Up! order with me. Like I said, you will get this cute little ladybug thank you card in the mail free from me, along with this cute little ladybug charm. And that is my August thank you gift. Okay, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, by the way, my Christmas class released in the Creative Vault, and I am going to be advertising for it very soon so that if you wanna purchase just my Christmas class that I did um, in July, you can, or was for July, actually finished it in August, you can purchase it. But I'm allowing all my Creative Vault members to enjoy it first because they always get the priority. If you wanna join the Creative Vault, there is a link below the video that says um, Love and Stamp and Vault. You click that link and you can sign up there. It's $14.95 a month and there's multiple classes in there every month, not just by me, but by other people. And uh, exclusive live event with me and my sister where I stamp and I chat, it's super fun. All right, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will catch you again soon. Bye-bye.